December 13, 2023. A player by the name of Naz was mere seconds away from competing in the biggest 1v1 tournament in Rocket League history. In fact, it was the biggest moment of his career, and as the seconds ticked down, he couldn't help but think of how he had gotten to this moment. From the very beginning, it was clear that Naz was a little bit different from everyone else. Naz had started playing Rocket League as a console player, which to many is seen as a major disadvantage when compared to a PC. After all, all of Rocket League's pro players use PCs when they play. But in spite of this, Naz would still reach the top 100 players in Rocket League while still on a console. But the world wouldn't be introduced to Naz until he would compete in a Sunless Khan video. Sunless was the biggest YouTuber at the time, offering whoever won a free PC. For Naz, this was a huge opportunity because it meant that he could finally realise his dreams of becoming a pro. And it was in this tournament that Naz gave us the first hint of what was about to come. In fact, he would win in such convincing fashion that he would be approached by SK Gaming and signed soon afterwards. But more importantly, this would allow Naz to compete in professional 1v1. The 1v1 arena is one of Rocket League's most ruthless and unforgiving environments. Historically, 1v1 has been dominated by players who play a calculated and controlling style. Two legends of the 1v1 scene in Fairy Peak and Akalid are great examples of this. But more recently, 1v1 has shifted towards a mechanical and much faster play style. We only have to look at players like Zen, Daniel, TRK and Nupo who have shifted the meta away from that controlling style. If you don't play with this style, it's very tough to compete in 1v1 but Naz was a little bit different. When Naz started his 1v1 career, it was clear from the outset that he was going against the grain of normal 1v1. He would bring out that classic controlling play, but with a much more ruthless edge to it. Initially when he began, this worked really well. But the problem with Naz's play style was that if you didn't play perfectly, you would get punished straight away. And he began to realize this as he worked his way up to those top 1v1 players. Naturally, <laughs> he's definitely uh, I've been a level above in this first minute. But Naz was determined to make it work, and slowly but surely, he would grind his way up the 1v1 ladder. And Naz is going to start off with a nice power shot. Column, but he's going to have to find some offense of his own. Naz wants a full field dribble. He is threatening a lot. Kickoff diversity keeping Naz in a dominant position on what shot. The style by Naz is just un unreal. I mean, Naz. Playing keep away. Oh, the no look! You love to see it, and it's the GG's, the no look. Oh, Nass is looking so good in 1v1 right now. October 4th, 2023. Naz was now a bona fide top 25 player in the world. He had certainly improved from when he had first started but he still wasn't quite in that top tier of 1v1 players. But Naz would have a massive opportunity to prove everyone wrong, and this opportunity was Salt Mines. Out of all the 1v1 tournaments in Rocket League, Salt Mine is easily the biggest and the most prestigious. It is the biggest stage for Rocket League 1v1, and every player in Rocket League wants to compete on this stage. There would be three stages to Salt Mine where you would earn points, allowing you to qualify for the finals and for a shot to be the best 1v1 player in the world. And there were clear favorites going into the tournament. Yes. Zen coming in as one of the tournament favorites alongside Rawas and Moxie. I would say that the chances that someone named not Zen, Rawas or Moxie wins this one is pretty low, so. And in the first stage, this looked highly likely as those three exact players made it to the top four and Moxie would eventually win. Unfortunately for Naz, he would bomb out early, not even making it out of groups in the first round. This was the worst possible start for Naz, as he would have to catch up in the next couple of stages in order to qualify for the finals. But in stage two, something unexpected would happen. Nova will finally get some. Good first touch into a flip. Wave dash shot. Excellent play by Naz. Both have been cautious about the all-in. He's found it. Oh, that is unbelievable. How has he spotted that play? Wow. So TRK needs to knock a demo, and he has. GG's. And that will be the slow trickle into the net. Nass is through to the grand final. The preliminary final against TRK, but that one's been stopped short. And Nigel has got tons of boost in defense. So we'll look at the placement by Nass, though, with the flip reset. Actually sets up an air dribble with a very nice touch here. 
Oh, what a flick to the backboard. Nice. With an open top corner, and he puts it in. Well, that was exquisite in the setup. But no goal. Oh, that's we played that's for the 12 boost. Right. That's crazy. What <laughs> an outplay. He we need the ball more cuts. Over to the best takeoff, but he can just go all in here. There's no time left. Here to a bump by Drally. Nas saves it, oh. but it's still going in. Double save by Nas, and now Drally's in a world of trouble. Gotta go coast to coast, and you can already hear Nas is looking for him. Wants to find the trip. That's, That's too it. far away. Nas oh. has won stage two. But it will be um, Nas who takes stage two, and uh, in phenomenal fashion. This unexpected win in Stage 2 would set Naz up for a spot in the Salt Mine Finals. But there were still some question marks over Naz going into the finals. Yes, he had taken down some quality opponents to get here, but he had yet to take down the true front runners he had struggled with historically, and if he wanted to win it all, he'd have to do what he had never done before. Naz would continue his strong form in the finals booking a date in the semi-finals after a close shave with TRK. And it would be in the semi-finals that Naz would face his toughest challenge yet. He now had to face arguably the best 1v1 player in the world, Zen. Yep, that's the guy who had gone through that legendary winning streak and was a favorite to win the whole thing. What was already a daunting task was made even harder because Naz knew he had never beaten Zen in a competitive 1v1. In fact, all throughout Salt Mine, Zen had gotten the better of him. But Naz was confident now, his calculated and controlling style had taken out other players like TRK on his journey here. Zen played in the exact same way. So all Naz needed to do was to play his game and pull off one of the biggest upsets in his career. And it's Naz versus Zen. Winner will play against Naipo for the championship. Um, CJ, who you got? Look, in terms of prediction, I have to pick Zen, I'd say. I know that that's a fantastic form, but Something about this man Zan, there's a reason why we call him the best in the world in pretty much everything he does. But Nas getting the first on the board. Fire yeah. series <laughs> as he throws oh, one on Zan, and he's always oh. caught Zan out, who's pixel perfect, but off to the touch, and he's oh. completely done, Zan. Zan you... For this mid boost race, he can't win it. It's Nas with the ceiling shot. Can he get another one? He delays it, lets oh. it bounce on target, and then follows up his own shot. Nas has got Zan on a string. He is making the world champ look silly right here. Naz had complete control over the series, and even with a comeback from Zen, he would take out the series, finally beating Zen for the very first time. The grab a boost button, he's busted! That's it! The boats! Naz is good for the rebound! He advances to the grand final with one of the most immaculately controlled performances you will ever see. Nas started stronger, Nas finished stronger. Zen, of course, had the uh, the middle of the series as his own, but that controlling style by Nas is just un unreal. Nas was one step closer to doing the impossible. Nas now found himself in a position that no one had predicted him to be in. He was in the grand final of the biggest 1v1 tournament ever hosted. But his job wasn't done yet. He would have to face a player that was in peak form and is probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest player in the world. Of course, I'm talking about Nupo. Nupo was a fast mechanical player who in the past had given Naz a lot of trouble. In fact, all seven times they had played, Nupo had come out victorious. So once again, Naz was faced with an opponent who played a fast aggressive style who he had never beaten in 1v1 in the biggest series of his career. The question was, could Naz finally prove he was at the top of one As it's Naupo from Saudi Arabia versus Nas from Morocco, Middle East versus North Africa on EU servers. Will Naupo be able to stop Nas from having his way with him? He is a fast player and plays it a lot like this man right here, Naupo, who in his own time or in his own turn in that preliminary finals strong against Roas, and he's done so oh. well. Look at the speed from Naupo, the little short touch, <laughs> wave dash, pop around the corner. The performance we're getting from Naupo today. We just saw him destroy Roas, and we're still unclear as to whether it was Nas peaking or Roas. Um, what a day this would be here in the Salt Mine Finals to, to beat two players that he's never beaten before in a 1v1 setting. Oh. And it was obvious from the outset that Nupo was feeling confident. You know, his less uh, availability if you are committed, if you're moving fast. And oh. there's a reset by now for top bins. Developing as a player, obviously, by the time he reached top mine three.
seems like he's having a bit more problems with Nightbow. He's just continuing his fine form from the preliminary final against Ruas. Trying to shit out pace him and he's done it again. He has a great challenge, but goes the shot. He just cuts him up and gets the easy goal. He opted to wow. go for the boost and the slow play. Nupo was playing some of the fastest and best Rocker League, and he would continue this in game two. Stuff as well, like can Rizzo beat a chicken in a fight? As now Pope gets a reset, and the first goal on the board. This man is on a different level. This is the best I've seen him play. To block the shot, and that, that's a great challenge by Nupo. He's just too fast on the counter attack again. But Nupo might just be the fastest player in the world because he is dusting Nas to the ball every time. He's using that oh, wow. corner to his advantage, but Nas read it as well. He doesn't even have to defend against, or attack rather, against 100 boost Nas. And now both drops it down. Nas in trouble. Look how quick the flick was. What? That's ridiculous. This is getting a little bit worrying now for Nas. Nas onto to the far side, so he won't have a chance to get to the ball first. It's Naipo wasting no time. Going straight for another flick top corner again. This guy just doesn't know how to slow down. But Nupo's speed meant that if he screwed up, Naz would strike straight away. He has popped that up <laughs> so fast that there's no room to set anything up. Here we go again, another fake, 50. One by Nas. Now this is what he did against Zen. Grab all the corner boost and wear him down. What can Naupo do? There oh. it is, the goal. Nas, keep it alive. Eight goals of his own. It all looks the same on the scoreboard, no matter how they go oh. in. And there it is, the reset of his own. And he's won the ball back at the best time, 15 seconds, has a reset. When is he gonna use it? He what? goes low, but he works it around the corner. How about one more? He's up again, ceiling reset. Is this the Zen bounce dribble, oh. but he misses. He's gone twice now, but missed both, and now Nas is all over him. Snipe misses two chances in a row, and he loses game two. Nas had managed to hold on, but he couldn't do this for the rest of the series. He would have to step up his game if he had any chance of winning. Worked out. It probably <laughs> should have worked out, but he just didn't execute a few touches and missed a few key shots. But he's setting the bar high for himself here. And, you know, just a little bit of a drop off in, t uh, in level and suddenly he's conceding, like you said. I mean, Morris, who's pushing for it again. He's bitten on that challenge. Now Poe always the first to recover. Can he get a bump? No Can way. Can he just no way. isolate him off the oh. ball? It's off the post. Nas doing so well there. Though, after that initial pre-jump, Okay, now Nas beating Naupo to the ball, and Naupo's completely stranded here. He's got no boost. Nas has an open net, and he sinks it for 1-0. The goal here is Nas. As Naupo's flung himself across the fake oh, low. Goes wide. Naupo just gets a touch on it. What a save in chat, and a thanks. There's enough time to do that while still playing the game. Oh, my Nas word. makes it again. Yeah, he's going to have the mid boost as well to play with Nas. So Naupo is the ceiling challenge. Gets a dive in, but Nas slots it past him. Nas has one-upped him. Can he do it again? No, no pull with the flip reset. It's saved by Nas, and the counter attack is threatened. That is just ridiculous that he saved that, and the bump hasn't come through. Oh my Nas is word. too quick, and that could be a go next moment. Five goals. There it yep. is. Now Poe says, I've had enough. Game three goes the way of Nas. Nas was now looking for match point and started to put pressure on New Pope. Flip of his own, so. So it's working out well. Now, he's actually tried to waste some time here, but he's done the opposite. Now, Nas coming in with an air dribble dunk. And it's not even needed as the ball bounces in. Potentially being Salt Mine 3 champion. That's a great turn again from Nas. He just fires it on net. He's, he's just flawless with his decision yeah, making right now. Those little nuances again. So crucial in 1v1. Here is now Pose trying to delay. Flip reset. There it is. Goes oh. low this time. Nas has to respect it. Preliminary mean. final and then. Got right back to winning. Oh, that's a crazy save by Naupo. Goes around the air dribble bump and gets a save on it. And now the rip flick top shelf goes in with hardly any boost. Immediately, I can just flick. That match is crazy. From Naupo up 4 2. Nas. Oh, showing that he can do it as well. That's <laughs> unbelievable. What a response by Nas. Tickled the inside of the post. Nas was just a spectator in that play, but now here's going the other way. With a monster of a flick, it's also off the inside of the post. Back to Nas! From the kickoff, the laser shot is a dunk and a perfect recovery by Naupo. The pop is good. Nas will not like the look of that. Yeah, he's in trouble. The instant flick as well. It's wide, but the oh, follow-up wow. bar down. Two goal lead One for Nas. goal of his Saudi Arabian opponent. And uh, he might be able to close that gap now. Nas, again, just playing straight for the immediate threat. And he's almost, he has forced the goal. Now Paul has own gold. It's a fine example of Nas philosophy. He doesn't want the mid boost. Taken in the EU 
tournament in Salt Mine. Oh my goodness, what oh! a save by Nath! I was boomed it. And Nath probably initially surprised by that. When Nath decides to leave that ball very Kick easily. Off. Good enough that time. Turns out to be a mistake. Goes now both taking it upstairs. There's the reset. Trying to bait in a touch. He's what? got the bump. He secured what? the bump and the game somehow. There's just so many risks. I mean, there's the tense moments, there's the, the, the moments where we got Nas speaking, we got plenty of moments for Naipo speaking. They're really putting each other in such precarious positions that the pressure is just amplified tenfold. You know, immediate flick, big threat again. This time it did bounce off the front of Naipo's car as he was about to make contact with it, so it wasn't quite as smooth as some of his other runs. That's a bit better. And Nas, oh, he does oh. get back. He left the door open, but Naipo misjudged it. He thought that he could just slot it before the recovery came through. And that's Nas shooting from distance, and that's not going to be catchable. It's 2 1 to the rocket. Yeah. He didn't quite. Perhaps a little bit of misjudgment, but look at the fakes coming through. Look at the mind oh. games he just had now. Poe in pieces on his Nas. Trying to move on. Is that all? Oh, what a touch from Nas. What that's a turn. Miss. And okay. he has slotted that bottom left. That was utter perfection. 38 seconds to go. Now, what needs the score right now, and he will. Okay, a timely kickoff goal. Well, put some pressure on Nas here. Another kickoff, surely we're not going to see some magic here. Takes it up there straight away. Gets the reset. Fakes a low. Oh! Whoa! The speed on the little ground pinch. He's in front. Now Poe knows he needs one. He does get the win. Could this be it? Double chain dash. Still has a little bit of boost. He will get one last crack. He gets the flick. Huge save from Nas. The follow-up from Now Poe. It's oh! a goal! Oh! Just barely got to in a time. Now Poe, he's missed the clutch, but he has to get the job done now. It's time for OT kickoff. Turns on this one though and throws it on there. Both players showing the pressure. They're slinging it away. They don't want to keep control of it. Yeah, they don't want to take a risk right now, but these long shots will force respect. And oh, Nas spots an opening. What a flick from the near post. How has he managed to sort that one past Now Poe? There was now only one game between Nas and that championship win. After the three goal comeback from Naipo, he must have been reeling from the pressure, but got control and sunk it. Now it's a double tournament point for the Moroccan in what I, I think is got to be the biggest match of his career. You can see the pressure mounting in that OT for both players, throwing the ball away, feeling the pressure. And that's the first one to stabilize, getting that win, moving on 3-2. Here we go. Is this the last game or are we going to get game seven? I feel like we deserve seven. Now certainly wants to end this one here and win this entire tournament. Tracks back now. Now by grabbing all the boost down the line. He's going to take it in the air. He's going to keep it upstairs. There's the reset. He waits. He drops it down oh! and puts it in. Nass. Should be able to put this one away. Dalpo's in trouble. There it is. Blink top corner. So good. Ties it up. He's so big. The opponent in front of you and Nas just might be that too good. Oh, Look at the save Steve. again. Free jump in the top corner. Delayed flick and gets the counter attack. Every time Nas makes a save, he recovers as well and then punishes down the other end. Nas going to be able to just put this one in. Back post spawn from Naupo. He just walks around him. Naupo's got a headache on the post. He's oh, he the other one. He's breaking ankles left, right and centre. But he does make the save off the post. Can Nas put it in? Yes, he can. He has just dismantled from Nas. Naupo. Naupo three times the in a row. Nas just has to pop it up. Corner boost lost. Can Naupo get one back? Yes, he, he can. Back to one. Seven. Right here, Naupo though. Trying to bait out a flick here. He's got to get the bump when all else fails. Go for the grid. Now we get space. He can set something up like this. He looks so dangerous now. He's got to go to the late race. Oh! It is enormous. And that is catastrophe for Naupo. And that's just slow playing as well. Just to try and get a slight mental advantage. This part in that play. Naupo plays himself. And now he needs to come back again with just 22 seconds to go. Forced overtime last game. Can he do it again? He's won the kickoff. Step one, complete. Step two, can he find the net? He gets the flick. He oh, finds the goal. This life yet in this series. And three seconds. Will we get overtime? Now oh, the reset. Oh, oh it's my down. goodness. He's so close. In survival mode. Grabbing a couple of pads. Well, not in trouble just yet. Now, Poe, 100 boost. Side wall. Nash, near post. Oh, reset. my goodness. We get seven. And just like that, 
Naz had lost his advantage and it now came down to game seven. Game seven for the tournament, Naz and now will go the distance. What a series. Naz was left with only one opportunity, one more game. All that hard work came down to this moment. We're into game seven, Naupo versus Nas, Saudi Arabia versus Morocco, who will be the third EU champion for salt mine. And at the start, the pressure would get to Nas. Gets the pop over the top, it could be Nas getting the first here in the grand final. Oh he just had to get it in, he's it. absolutely <laughs> beamed it. Ladies oh and gentlemen, Lord. how has he done that? Kero take down the other end, great save. I mean, this is the most nervous looking minute we've seen all series, maybe all tournament long for these two. They are double bump denied by Nas. But Nas would show why he's really one of the best. But now boy is back. He tries to double bump him and then it works. First goal on the board, game seven grand finals. Goes to Nas. Sets him a boost steal. Great boost management by Nopo though. He's got 40 save. Will Nas realize he's saved up that much? Oh! No, he doesn't have to. He just makes him out. Nas lets Nopo play himself. Pressure on now, Pope. Winner of this match, $10,000 richer. And there ain't no Nas has got his hand on the bag. Now he's gonna grab it, oh and he's been God. so quick on the counter-attack. It is off the post, now Bo misses the save. Perhaps leaves oh, it, but wow. Nas cuts him up, four goals. But it wasn't over just yet. Nopo can't fight the back of the net. Yeah, there's a minute gone already, but what a challenge. It doesn't come off because now Poe's ready for it. 4-1 gets his first on the board here in game seven of the grand final. Naipo coming back and trying to break his heart. Naipo wants a second. Low 50 is good. And he truly is starting to come back. Who anymore? He was kind of desperate before though. Now he's just read the ball a little bit earlier Here than Nas has. It's wide open. Naipo is a reader of bounces. And Nas could not match him. Challenge. It is back to one. It was 4 0 30 seconds ago. Oh my and it might just be 4 4 30 seconds oh later. Oh my goodness. To the hit. Again, no Paul will win it. It's in the back corner. But he's got the ball. He's got the boost. And now he's looking for the lead. Chad was saying GG's a minute ago. The non believers. We're right back in it now. Boy, oh boy. You just cannot split these two. Oh There's a reason we're at game seven. There's a reason why now Paul's here. He's got the reset. He goes oh, low. Save. What a save from Nash. Well, again, the dribbling starts. Fall apart here in game seven. Oh, Nas has cut him up though. He's got the open net down the other side. Now both for a second. Thought he was taking it around, but the sharp angle cuts it across. Again, no put trailing. A minute and ten to go. He's needing a goal once more. He's done it so many times. I feel like he's just going to do it again here. But Nas, in that kick off, race to the corner boost. He's off. Not giving no put any ideas of aggression off the ball. Just pop on target from now, but forces Nas to jump for what control by the Moroccan catching the ball in the back wall. Right there, he's trying to get a good 50. So quick to turn. Has he caught him out here? No. Right under it. Has get bumped, but there's a shot. Oh, Free jump by Nas. Nas back corner. 100 boost. Almost Emma, but you saw it coming. What a dodge by Nas. He's wasting time in the back corner now. Nopo has to commit. Nas knows he will commit. There it is. Big challenge by Nopo, but he can't do too many of those. The clock is ticking down. 10 seconds. When is he going to buy now, Po? He has to go. Nas, he's taking all the boost in the world. Is he going to do it? It's one last play. Now, Po, throwing it forward. He's Nas done it. it. It's over. Oh, my goodness. He's done it. GG's. Nas is the Salt Mine 3 EU champion. Beats Naupo by one goal in Game 7. An absolutely stunning performance. He takes down Zen and Naupo back to back to win the whole thing. Two players before today that he had never beaten. Zen had beaten Nas four times to zero. Naupo had beaten Nas seven times to zero. But when it was all on the line, Nas produced the goods and he comes out victorious. Nas had actually done it. He had done the unthinkable but he couldn't help but remember how he had gotten to this moment, to only a year ago when he was competing for a PC in a Sunless Khan video, the doubts throughout all those show matches, throughout his journey to the final, and the way in which he had won it all. He had defied all the odds, and that's perhaps the most special part of this story. The story of Naz.